other than a cat or dog, who would be the best pet to have? Actually, what would be the best pet to have? Whew. Would like a horse be considered a pet? Yeah, totally. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're a beautiful animal. So I, I feel like that would probably be my choice. Uh, it'd be a lot of work, but um, I know my daughter has mentioned that she wants one. Yeah. Uh, we're not quite there yet at that stage of our lives, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd say that would probably be my answer would be a horse. For sure. And that's totally your prerogative. And you know what? I cannot wait until you get to the horse stage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And now Bogosian jumps up, drops it back. Marner comes off the bench and shoots, scores! Yeah. Mitch Marner, fresh off the bench, slides it by Demko, 7-3 Toronto. Here's Justin Hall, scores! An elite blue liner has given Toronto the lead. All right. I'm Justin Hall. Welcome to Leaf to Leaf. I'd like to welcome Zach Bogosian, one of my great friends. Welcome, Zach. Thanks for having me, Justin. I'm excited for this. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. You ready? Here, I'm. Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. All right, terrific. Question number one is, who is someone you looked up to as a kid? Oh... I feel like this is kind of a cliche answer, but my my dad, he was always setting the example for me and my brothers. And then uh, really close with uh, my brother Aaron growing up, always playing hockey outside and sports outside. So he's three years older than me. Uh, he's helped, you know, with my hockey career along the way, but just being there as a, as a brother, um, he's someone I really looked up to. I still to this day. For sure. Um, question number two, other than a cat or dog, who would be the best pet to have? Actually, what would be the best pet to have? Ooh. Would like a horse be considered a pet? Yeah, totally. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're a beautiful animal. So I, I feel like that would probably be my choice. Uh, it'd be a lot of work, but um, I know my daughter has mentioned that she wants one. Yeah. Uh, we're not quite there yet at that stage of our lives, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I know Muzz has a horse so maybe i'll have to ask him some advice but i'd say that would probably be my answer would be a horse for sure and that's totally your prerogative and you know what i cannot wait until you get to the horse stage will you will you ride will you ride the horse yeah i just hope we enter the phase at the same exact time uh, well we're going to be in minnesota so we'll be around that's each right. other so maybe that's we can right. do that together that'd be wonderful i very much look forward to it okay Question number three, which <laughs> fictional villain is your favorite? Um, I'm a Tom Hardy fan, so I'd probably say Bane. Nice, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not, not big on villains, though. Uh, I like the good guys. Yeah. But he's like, he's jacked in the movie. He wears a cool mask, wears a, a vest that's sleeveless. Uh, I guess all vests are sleeveless, but <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he walks around with a vest and shows his guns off, so I'll, I'll, I'll give it to him. Yeah, and then when I was going through my notes, just researching um, what we're gonna do here, I also understood that you were in for Halloween one year. I was. Um, yeah. Wasn't wasn't the most comfortable with the mask on all night. Totally, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> question number four, what other major sport would you be most likely to make it as a professional? Uh, phew. I played uh, soccer and lacrosse growing up. Um, maybe lacrosse. It's easy to say now that I haven't done it, but uh, yeah. maybe football though. I don't know. I never played football. I've always loved the sport. It runs in my family. My dad and my uncle played college football. So maybe that one, uh, but from actual experience, maybe I'd say lacrosse. It's a sport I love and uh, I had a ton of fun, you know, playing it growing up. For sure, you and I are both former lax bros. Yeah, uh, tube socks, flip flops. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. You were an attackman, right? I, I yeah, I played attack in yeah, yeah, prep nice. school, but uh, I played mostly box across growing up. So nice I was sport. running all over the floor. It was great. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Well, maybe in your next life, maybe professional lax. Yeah, 
Blackberry. Um, okay, number five. How would you describe your packing style when you travel? Uh, well, my wife usually packs for me or helps me pack. Uh, folds gal. my clothes. Uh, what a gal. Just hit a home run with her. 100%. Um, I do like to bring an oversized like suitcase because by the end of the road trip, everything's just all messy and I just like to just like throw everything in there and bring it home. Um, totally. I've had times where if it's not folded perfectly and you have a smaller suitcase, it's kind of tough to like cram everything in there at the end of the trip. So over my years of experience, I've gotten a bigger suitcase year by year and that's what I go with. So clean to start. And then by the end of the road trip, it's just a complete mess in there. Yeah, nice. I actually did take a page out of your book because I brought the very small away luggage last trip, and this one I brought the big boy. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be able yeah. to throw all the dirty laundry and just get it. That's home. right. That's right. Not yeah. to mention any odds and ends that you pick up throughout the road trip. Right. All right. So we had some technical difficulties, mainly with the brightness. Uh, I had to maneuver my laptop a little bit. Nobody panic. It's no big deal. Okay. You look great, Justin. Thank you, Zach. You too. Now it's time for Would You Rather. Okay. Would you rather have unlimited sushi or unlimited tacos? Tacos all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like sushi, but I feel like a nice taco night is dynamite. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. And now I have a strong opinion question that's actually very fitting for you. And that is... <laughs> Is cereal soup? Absolutely yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cereal is just a bowl of cereal. Cereal is um, cereal. Yeah, there's no, that, that's not even, it can't even be in the same sentence. Um, what if you What if you cut up bananas and put it in there though? That would be, you'd be trending more t- towards like a, like an acai bowl maybe? Yeah, yeah, For those like, of you that you, don't know, Bogo's a big fan of the Frosted Flakes with banana in it. Yeah. Frosted Flakes, banana, and skim milk. No, I'm a whole milk guy. Whole, whole milk. milk. All day. <laughs> whole no, milk mistake. all day. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with skim milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course not. Mm. Um, okay, and Look I think we have a fan question next. Uh, fan submission. Should be very exciting. I don't know exactly what it is yet, but uh, let's see if we can get it uh, asked. Is there truly a better outfit than a turtleneck and a blazer? That's a good one. Um, I do appreciate the guys that can pull it off. I have tried to do it a few times in my career. It hasn't exactly looked all that great, but the guys like Austin that have that outgoing style, I think they look great. I just, I don't really look great in them. So I, I stay away from them. <laughs> 